going on guys we are hanging out down here in the garage there's a whole bunch of tackle laid out here to my side um, that i plan on talking about in this video and for this video i want to talk springtime fishing um, and specifically muddy water here in ohio the the lakes get drawn down a lot um, a lot especially a lot of the local lakes around here um, for flood control in the winter time and then as they fill back up into the spring that sediment and stuff gets stirred up that's on the bottom and um, those lakes tend to muddy up so in this video i want to give you uh, my top five lures for fishing muddy water um, this does not particularly have to be um, for springtime this is lures that i would use year round to fish in muddy water so let's jump into it Lure number five is more of a category than it is a lure. Um, and just because I felt like I had to include this in here just because it's such a fun bite and I'm talking top water. Um, for top water, I have a couple different lures laid out here that I would use. Um, if the water temperature is a little bit colder, I want to go with a slower moving bait and I'm going to use a walking bait. This right here is the sexy dog. Um, by Strike King. It's in black and as you can see there it's got some like green and gold flake on it. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, this is the bigger size. It's got some rattles to it and uh, like I said in colder water I would use a walking bait so I'm not um, covering a, a whole lot of water really really quickly um, and I really like this black color in muddy water. Um, this is about the only time I throw the black color is in muddy water um, in colder water as well Just because I have a lot of confidence in it and like I said um, When you're walking that thing side to side It doesn't have to cover a lot of water as you're bringing it back to the boat. It goes more side to side If the water is warmer, I tend to go with a buzz bait. Um, I have two of those that I would go with um, this one first is a blue rock custom tackle buzz bait and if you notice um, on this there's a little like blade here up on the arm going horizontal and that is a clacker um, and as this blade spins it hits that clacker um, and makes a whole lot of noise um, so you'll notice as i'm talking about a lot of these lures i'm looking for a lot of noise a lot of vibration in muddy water um, helps those fish track that down that lure down a little bit more um, so yeah I would use this blue rock custom tackle buzz bait with a clacker on it um, just to generate more noise more vibration from that um, I also like to use a white buzz bait as well um, this one is a custom made buzz bait um, from a family friend of mine and as you can hear, that blade barely is moving, is making a whole lot of noise. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, but I like this buzz bait as well. Typically, if I'm fishing a white buzz bait um, in muddy water, I'll put a trailer on this as well. Um, typically, I'll go with like a paddle tail style trailer. Um, and if I'm throwing a white buzz bait, I'll match that up with a white paddle tail as well. Lure number four. Um, when I'm talking about fishing muddy water for me as a jig um, I have a couple different kinds here that I like um, actually they're all the same exact lure brand of jig but I'm not specifically looking so much at brand as I am at color um, for this um, the reason I include a jig here is typically in muddy water fish will pull real tight to cover um, and I'm and if I'm targeting those real, real tight to cover, they won't need a moving bait. I want to slow down and I want a bigger presentation to make it stand out in that dirty water. I'm going with the jig. Um, all three of the jigs that I have laid out here are a six cents hybrid jig. And the, the main thing here for me is different colors. Um, I'm looking for a bigger presentation on the jig and something that's going to stand out in that dirty water color. Um, so I'm looking at something like this. This is a black and blue um, from Six Sense. This is the hybrid jig. Um, as far as jig brands go, I don't think you necessarily have to throw a, a brand. Um, I don't think you have to throw Six Sense 
Um, I'm looking mainly, like I said, at color, um, three colors, and I feel like you could fish these in whatever jig brand that you like. Um, some brands that I like is Dirty Jigs, Blue Rock Custom Tackle, Six Cents, um, and Strike King as well. And I also make my own jigs as well. But this one, black and blue. The trailer that I have on that is a six inch stroker curl in black and blue. I'm going to talk a little bit more about trailers for jigs here in a second. Um, and then the other color that I like is this one. I believe this is like dark water bug. Um, but the main thing here is like a black and purple. Um, I like that color as well in dirty water um, on here the trailer I have is a six cents prawn and then my favorite color in muddy water is a actually a black and red um, this is again six cents hybrid jig um, on that i'm typically throwing a couple different trailers but like i said black and red is probably my favorite color in muddy water as far as jig trailers go in muddy water, I'm looking for something that um, gives it a bigger presentation, bigger profile, just to make it stand out a little bit more in the muddy water. A um, couple trailers I already mentioned that I like. Um, the first one is a Strike King Rage Bug. Um, this is in black neon. Um, this is that black and red. This is what I would typically pair up with that black and red jig in muddy water. Um, I also like the black and blue rage bug. Again, kind of the same same exact trailer, just different color. And then um, if the water's warmer, um, typically this rage bug, like a creature style bait, I would throw in cooler water just because it doesn't have as much action. If the water's warmer, I'm going with a crawl style trailer. Um, I do like the Strike King Rage Crawl. That's my favorite crawl. Um, the other one I really like um, for muddy water is the Six Cent Stroker Crawl. Um, this one's in black and blue. Color doesn't really matter as long as I'm kind of matching up with my jigs. Um, I like this Stroker Crawl because compared to a regular size crawl, the body is a lot wider on this. Um, so it just increases that profile, makes that skirt kind of pulse out a little bit as it's falling through the water column. So yeah, really like that. And like I said, if you notice, it's very similar in size to that Strike King Rage Bug in body size. So I like that bigger um, body size in that as well. Lure number three um, when fishing muddy water is a crankbait. Um, I'm typically looking at two different types of crankbaits, um, and that's just depending on where the fish is setting up. If the fish is positioned really, really tight to cover, which typically they do in muddy water, I'm going to throw a square bill just so I can get it through that cover. Um, the three square bills that I like to use are... First of all, a six cents square bill. This one is black and blue. And typically, you know, you don't typically see a lot of people throwing a black and blue square bill. Um, but this one stands out in that water column. I fished water that's like straight up chocolate milk, banging this thing off trees, and you would be surprised at the bites you can get. The other thing about this square bill, it has some rattles to it. Um, it's not like an overwhelming rattle um, but it doesn't need that overwhelming rattle because of the color um the other square bill that i like to throw is a strike king um kvd 1.5 obviously chartreuse black back it's a great color um this this one is silent um i actually prefer the hard knock version um but you can go with the silent as well. That chartreuse stands out in muddy water. And then the other one I like is this one. This is the chartreuse sexy shad. This one is the hard knock version. If I'm going with a square bill that's a little more natural, I want that hard knock in the rattles um, to allow those fish to find that thing and track it down. So lure number four is a crankbait. Um, 
if those fish are not positioned super tight to cover, they're just kind of out roaming, I, I would prefer to throw a lipless crankbait just because it has more noise, more vibration. Um, and my favorite lipless crankbait is the Red Eye Shad from Strike King. Um, I like this color a whole lot in that Red Eye Shad. Um, this is just like an orangish with a black back. I like that got that aggressive rattle to it um the next one the other red eye shad i like again is like a black and blue um very similar color to that whoops very similar color to that six cents square bill i like that black and blue a lot and then a couple other different lipless crankbaits i like um the six cents quake 70 you notice this is white um but the reason why i throw this one very aggressive very loud rattles um and that stands out a little bit in that muddier water just because of the white and then the other one i like just because i like the hard knock of this this is the booyah one knocker you can hear that very loud rattle and that one knocker sound um, i like that one as well Lure number two in muddy water is a bladed jig or a chatterbait. I have a couple different ones that I really like. Um, first of all, I like the big bladed chatterbait by Z-Man. Um, this color is bruised. It's like a green pumpkin blue with black in it. Um, just to show you some size comparisons on blade size. Um, this one right here that I'm holding is a jackhammer. This one is the big blade. I don't know how well you can see that, but the, the big blade obviously has a much larger blade. Um, gives it way more vibration in the water um, when reeling it through the water column. That blade going back and forth. Um, so I like that big blade chatterbait. Um, the next one is the Z-Man jackhammer. I like that black and blue color. If you've noticed a theme so far in muddy water, I like dark colors. Um, those dark colors stand out in that water column. The trailer I have on here is a missile bait spunk shad. Um, I like trailers with a lot of action in muddy water, especially if the water's warmer. Um, if I'm using, let's say, more of a natural presentation, I like to go with trailers that have a ton of action just to add even more vibration, more movement of the water. Although this isn't like supernatural, obviously, it's chartreuse and white. Um, the trailer that I have here is a big bite bait kamikaze swim on. Um, that trailer color is pearl. Um, as you're reeling this thing, these two tails are back there kicking. They have a ton of action. This is the Z-Man Chatterbait Elite. Um, and white and chartreuse the thing to mention with this is it has a gold blade I like that gold blade in muddy water um, It just stands out a little bit better. I feel like um, It doesn't affect the action obviously at all. It's just the color of the blade, but I like that z-man chatterbait elite as well um, for straight retrieving in muddy water I actually like or just straight retrieving a bladed jig at any time. I like a chatterbait that the blade is not connected directly to the head. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a split ring in there. Um, I released a video that um, showed the action of some of the trailers, um, and, and it was a deep dive chatterbait video. I'll put a link to that up in the corner. Um, but in that, I talked about having a bladed jig on a straight retrieve that's not connected directly to the head and there's a split ring in there and it gives it a lot of like hunting action off side to side action um and this is one that i make myself um obviously again it's got like a black and blue skirt the difference on this one there's some chartreuse and some orange in the skirt and also with chatterbaits i like a a fuller profile trailer again this is the yamamoto zeiko um so very similar to a bait fish profile um, but sticks out and it's a little bit bigger here makes that skirt skirt pulse a little bit more on that chatterbait so 
And lure number one for me in muddy water is a spinnerbait. I typically only throw about one or two colors. Um, white and chartreuse. Um, this is a Blue Rock Custom Tackle spinnerbait kicker color. Um, it's white at the top of the skirt, chartreuse at the bottom. Um, if you notice, the one thing I really like about this, it has a willow leaf blade, but that willow leaf blade is pretty big. I'm not exactly sure on the size on that, but I would say it's probably like a size five. Um, it does a great job of moving water. Um, this is the lure that I caught my personal best on. It was a seven pound, four ounce largemouth. Um, and I caught it in muddy water. Um, so really like this color in muddy water. Now, if the water is really muddy, like zero visibility, I'll still throw that white and chartreuse, but I'll throw it with like a Colorado blade. Um, this is a War Eagle spinner bait. I've added a trailer hook on there. Um, but again, it's the same color. It's the white and chartreuse. Um, just changed up the blade design. And I do like these War Eagle spinner baits a whole lot. Very high quality stuff. And like I said, I added a trailer hook on there as well. Trailer hook, not necessary, especially if you're fishing around cover. Um, in fact, I prefer not to have a trailer hook on my spinner baits. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the fish, they tend to pull closer to cover. And when you're fishing that trailer hook, um, and I'm fishing a spinner bait around cover, that wire acts as like a weed guard, protects the hook. But if you have that trailer hook on down here below that, um, you're much more likely to get snagged up. So typically don't throw a trailer hook on here, but I have one on here. We're going to go ahead and wrap the video up there, guys. Um, as you saw, I talked about some of my favorite lures to throw in muddy water. A lot of those lures were um, darker in color just because that tends to stand out in that muddy water a little bit more. Um, but I also like to throw some of those more shad-type colors, the whites, so chartreuses as well. Um, I feel like those whites do stand out in that muddy water, um, but that, that darker stuff just gives a better silhouette. So that's why you see a lot of the stuff that I talked about here with um, darker colors. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here, guys. If there's anything that you would change about my top five or anything that you prefer to throw in muddy water please leave a comment down below obviously i'm always trying to learn but these are the things that i've had success on in muddy water so we're gonna wrap up here guys make sure you like the video comment down below and subscribe thanks for watching